Hello and welcome to today's daily inspirational intuitive message. If this is your first time here, hello, hi, welcome. I am Jaya. I am Claire Audient. I do receive various styles of different um, messages and as I receive these different messages, I will be relaying them to you guys so that way you guys can use them in your next 24 hours as inspiration, motivation, and to kind of have a little bit of an insight on what you may be encountering. Now, this is a collective um, vibration that I tap into that is for anybody who ever watches this video. It's a timeless, so that means that it's meant for whenever you find this and anybody who ever watches it um, will be... Uh, part of that collective so whatever resonates kindly take whatever does not I ask that you compassionately leave it for the person who needs to hear it most mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and see what's in store for our next 24 hi Michael <laughs> good evening good evening good morning to anybody on the other side of the world and Good day and good night to everyone in between. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing some sort of... Um, it feels like, a, like it's a door, but the door is like a triangle that's upside down. And it opens and it closes it sort of wishes open and close like a like a dog door does in like a on like a back door or something that's what I'm seeing and so it's kind of like a, like, a, like it can go open or close it's like in a triangle shape and it's like upside down I don't feel anything scary about it and now I'm seeing like a washer dryer like duo set it's like two it's like a washer and dryer that's connected I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but they sell these washer or dryer sets that are like it's like they're stacked or they're stackable and um, I'm seeing like this and, it, and it's talking about compact this is compact, okay? It relates totally to that door that I was seeing earlier because I was even seeing like a little, like there's like a little, uh, almost like a triangle that fits there and it's pointing back to that first vision. And to me, this is talking about <sighs> simplicity and bringing things into a, uh, into like a, a smaller, I want to say like you're, like you're condensing it. You're condensing it. You're making something smaller. So if it's like a big problem you have, you would be, okay, is this really part of the problem? Is this really part of the problem? Like you're like kind of like throwing stuff out of, and like some of you may be physically clearing out clutter. Others of you may be getting rid of um, old ideas that have really fluffed up your your life and the way you see things in your life. Like you could be seeing it in a way that it's like, a, I need to make my life a lot simpler. And this is also pertaining to your happiness. Like, Things that are going to make you happier instead of looking at all the different opportunities or options. It's like, okay, well, but what's what's needed in my happiness? Like that, like what's needed versus what are all my opportunities and where do I want to go? It's like, what do I need to do that's going to be fulfilling for me, right? Hi, AJ. <laughs> good evening. Good morning to you. <sighs> yeah. And I'm seeing somebody's hand and they're on like a, it's like, it's like if they have like a little tablet, but, and they're using a stylus pen.
pen to like kind of mark off things and and it's like if they're clearing out their apps they're clearing out their stuff in their life this is a lot of um renewal energy a lot of you guys may be like just decluttering a lot of things a lot of people from your life a lot of things that you used to do from your life like getting rid of apps that don't serve you um getting rid of like people that don't serve your higher purpose this is also getting rid of items physical items that don't don't resonate with who you are and who you want to become that better version of yourself a lot of you guys are like, it's like, whoa, you're pulling out a lot of, you're pulling out all the stops on yourself. That's cool. <laughs> I can't, you can't make this up, okay? Life is simple and easy. Okay? I was just talking about this. <laughs> All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life. All is well. Yes. 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 I like that. I really like that. The simple, like the more simple things are for you, the simpler, the more simple, the more simple, <laughs> the simpler life is, it's like the less, the less there is to manage, which means the less opportunity there are, like there's less opportunities for, uh, for things to, to take away the happiness and the simplicity of it. You know, if you keep it simple and, uh, a lot of you guys are doing that. And I feel like it's really highlighting me when I look at this. It's highlighting to me right here the easy. You see how it says easy? I know I need to flip my camera still. Okay, but it says easy right here, right? I feel like this is next to his head. And I feel the vibration of it. Like if um, he's making his life simple, like everything else around him simple, so that way... His mind is at ease. This is easing the tension, easing the, the stress of his mind. <sighs> yeah. Man, that's a good feeling right there. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys. Just making things simple for yourself. If you're trying to tackle something big, that's this this message is still for you. It's talking about getting on that big project by simplifying it. Simple, 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 simplifying it. Mm-hmm. You could like be breaking down a project into little pieces. And others of you, it's very, it's very much talking about decluttering your life. Some of you, it could be like, you know, when you, when you're working on a project, um, things kind of do get piled up from working, you know, like if, if somebody's working on construction or something, right, there's going to be like different pieces of construction all over the place, right? Then you gotta like kind of tidy it up so that way it's a lot simpler and you could you could pay attention to what else you're gonna work on with that project. That's kind of how life is. Like where it's like we, you know, sometimes we just need to reevaluate what's going on so we can say, okay, you know what? That doesn't really serve my highest purpose. I don't think I'm gonna, you know, go to bed too late or I don't think I'm gonna, you know, eat those kinds of foods because I don't really like the way it makes me feel in midday. Um, it's decluttering your, your friend group. If you know, you got friends that aren't really serving your highest purpose, but this is all, whatever you're doing to simplify your life, you're doing it so you can have a ease inside your mind so you could flow better. So you could work better too. I feel like this is a working horse. I could feel it. It feels like a working horse and you're working with ease. You're able to flow. 
There is light all around. There is much to be grateful for in this seemingly dark world. And so all we must do is pull our gaze from the shadow and look to the ocean of divine light and grace in which we are blessed to live. And you know, I feel like that's like the, the like the the blue all around is like that divine ocean that he's flowing in and he's in that flow he's in that he's in the flow he's in the rhythm he's in that flow state and that's where you create when you're in that flow state and you can't create to your fullest potential when you got other people that are putting your mind your mind at like a dis-ease so make sure whatever you're doing is your your mind is always easy so you can make things simpler for you because the more simple a task is for you the more area you have for creativity that's why you want things to sort of get simple and be as simple as possible for yourself because mm -hmm. then you could you could really add your creativity in there I'm so proud of you guys. When I look at this, like I feel so proud of you guys because it's it's it really is a, a hard thing to do for a lot of people to cut out the wrong people out of their life or cut down on talking to people because some people you can't cut them out of your life. They're just like their family or something. So you have to cut down on, you know, the time you spend with them. They may get mad at you or you may have to, you know, say, hey, look, you know, right now I'm trying to do this and they may not agree with it and and you're and you're still trying to love them without their support and so there's like there's these different things so but it, it's gonna it's making you feel good to so you know where i could leave that behind and i could just keep going after mine that's okay that's okay There's so much like beauty with it. Like I feel like a lot of you guys are, are really, you really are okay. You know, some people say, oh, I'm okay with that. I can leave that behind. I don't care. And they care, you know, they say it kind of aggressively because they, because they care still. But I feel like a lot of you guys, it's like this liberation that happens when you let go of something that's been holding you back from what you're trying to pursue. Crowd surfing crowd surfing this is finding your place in the world that's how it feels with me it feels like that <laughs> oh yeah it feels like that it feels like home it feels like like the hug of like a, a daughter and a, and a and a and a father like I could feel that embrace and this 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 is where it feels like to find that divine family, that divine, ah, I have a place in this world and I can pursue what I need, what I need to pursue. And it's feeling that blessing to have peace of mind is a blessing and a lot of you guys are feeling that you're feeling it <sighs> that crowd surfing one is three zero so if you've been seeing like threes everywhere or something or 30 just letting you know it has a number right there A lot of changes happening. Divine changes. And all of us, as we go through change, we end up alone. I'm not going to lie. There's, most people will end up alone. And the reason why is because when you're by yourself or you're around people that allow you to be yourself, then you can really be by yourself, right? And then you can do that personal development without anybody having ulterior motives around you. 
that's where real growth can happen you know peace <laughs> oh yeah I was talking about that peace of mind today. Mm hmm. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And you know, this really matches this. Look at that. It's like if they came together in a pair, <laughs> they came together in this, in this layout though. It's the first card and it's the last card. And you guys are having so much peace in the next 24 hours. So if you're thinking about letting something go and you're a little bit worried about how you're going to feel about it, I would say you guys go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Drop drop that luggage. This is that okay. If you're looking for some kind of confirmation, right here is that confirmation. Let whatever it was go and go for what is going to bring you peace mm -hmm. this is choosing peace I'm so proud of you guys to see that because so many people they will compromise their their uh, things just different things in their life they'll compromise time most of the time it's it's time it's like you know okay can you do this favor for me and, you know and you're busy but you do it because you, you, you're like, you know what? It's okay. Fine. Okay. I'll do, I'll do it for someone. So I'll do it for someone. So, okay. Okay. But most of the time when we're living like that and we keep doing that and doing that and doing that, we end up having so many things in our mind and I'm guilty of it too. You know, everybody has that. That's a normal thing, but when we make things simple and 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 the, just flow, we're able to flow. We're able to have peace. We're able to experience that. So in the next 24 hours, be at peace. By saying no, I'm hearing that. By saying no. I'm going to challenge you. If you have a problem with saying no to people, I'm going to challenge you. If you're the yes person that's always, yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. I got a challenge for you. Okay? I would like you to say no to someone <laughs> once a day for 14 days. Don't have to be big, it could be small, but as a form of showing yourself, your self-love, your self-care, and valuing the time. So that way you show yourself that you appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I think of that too. Like when I think of self-love, when you want to do an act of in, something as an act of self-love, the way you can look at it is you look at yourself. Like how would, how would that, how would it feel to have, like I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman, so I would think, how would it feel, okay, if, like, I fell in love with somebody who really loved me, and he said, I value your time, you know, it's okay, I don't want you to do this or that, because I, I care about your time, right, I think of it like that, I know that's, like, a far-fetched, weird thing to say, but that's how I think about, like, when I'm gonna, when I'm gonna show myself some sort of like appreciation or love. And I think of that and I do it for myself and I go, you know what? I'm going to show myself time. And it's like that. And it's like, you're, it's, to me, it's like a mental like way to, uh, to, to associate the act of 
loving yourself. So it's like being your, your, your partner, being your best partner. That's what you, that's what you are for yourself when you're doing self love. You're showing yourself you, you are worthy. Mm hmm. And that's a beautiful thing you guys are doing in the next 24 hours. Many of you making simple, making your life simple, making it simple in an effort to get out of dark places and to seek the light and to find that light within yourself and obtain peace. So the next 24 hours, it's about enjoying the peace. Because I keep seeing um, hammocks. Like I keep seeing hammocks and people are laying on it and they're just like swaying on the hammocks. And I'm looking at it like if like peace is holding you. Hold yourself in peace. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing your yourself. Showing yourself how much you matter. Because you matter. You just need to believe that you matter. Thank you for, uh, thank you for joining. I am sending you guys so, 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 so many high fives for valuing the special person you are in this special world. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me here. And thank you for allowing me to join you in your world today. Have a fantastic 24. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.